Hi guys, and welcome back to Crafting with Stacey. Today we're going to be painting the table from the Alice in Wonderland collection that Hidden Corner sent me. I start off by painting all my stone ornaments with two coats of a white masonry paint. As you already know, I use sand text. Once the white paint is dried, I then use my acrylic paints to go over the rest of the stone ornaments to add the colour. You know, these stone ornaments that Hidden Corners do are so amazing that they would make such a wonderful gift for Christmas, painted or unpainted, that um, if you know somebody that likes stone ornaments and don't know what to get them, I would highly recommend that you shop around on Hidden Corners because they have got such an amazing stone ornament collection. It is unbelievable. Because each chair was shaped so differently from the ones that the characters are sitting on to the ones that are actually attached to the table, I decided to do them all different but I wanted them to not be too wild and too out there that they would all still fit together nicely. If you're new to painting stone ornaments I'm going to talk to you a little bit about dry brushing. It, basically, what you need to do is look at it as if it's the same as shading whilst you're drawing with pen and pencil. So basically, you, you're using darker colours to just show and add more texture to your stone ornaments, as if you would do if you were shading or drawing with pen and pencil. So this part for me was actually the hardest, which was painting the checks. Um, and it wasn't so difficult actually the painting of the checks, it was more doing it in a position that you as the camera and the viewers were able to see what I was actually doing. I found it really difficult because obviously um, I've got a granite worktop in my craft room. So when my stone ornament is on the, the granite, the last thing I want to do is knock it or bump it or you know turn it around and you know, either scratches the table or the stone ornament. So I had to put it on um, bubble wrap. Well, the problem with bubble wrap is, as I'm painting, if you look, watch close, you can actually see the stone ornament starts to move in different ways, which obviously made it quite difficult to paint. Okay, so I just want to say I'm sorry. I know my hand appears in this part of the video a lot, blocking your view. I did try and edit as much of it out as possible, but you will still see my hand in there, popping in and out every now and then. Just say hi, it's just a hand, don't worry about it. It's not going to get you. Well, if you paint it might, but any, anything else, you're fine. So I'm just finishing off with the top of the table and doing the teapots, teacups and the cake and all of those things that are left to be painted. I wanted them all to look like they kind of come in one set, although you wouldn't really have that many teapots in one set, would you? I mean, you would have that many cups, but I'm not so sure about the teapots. But I have to be honest, I kind of like it because it makes it sort of makes it that each person gets their own little teapot and cup kind of thing. So yeah, I kind of like that. The other thing that I did is I added a heart, club and a diamond to the center of the plates because while I was painting it just sort of seemed a little bit too bland for me while I was obviously painting. Once you've got color on something, if you've got too much white or something like that, it just looks bland, it looks incomplete. So yeah, that's why I added those centers of the plates. And then I decided I actually liked that, so I went around the outsides of the plates with whatever, or, you know, with the red and the black, whichever colour was in the centre of it. 
Um, once all of those was finished, I basically did touch-ups and then got it ready to be finished. As I do with all my stone ornaments, once they have finished being painted and are completely dry, I move on to doing two coats of a clear hard varnish. This seals in all the paint as well as anything else you add onto your stone ornaments. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, if you did leave a big thumbs up. I will leave a link in the description down below for Hidden Corner's Facebook page as well as my own Facebook page. You can also follow me on Instagram which is Stacy Crafting Holman, where you will receive little sneak peeks at what I'm going to be uploading before I actually upload it. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. Um, yeah, happy crafting!